हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कैरियर फर्स्ट चैनल दिस इज प्रेसिडेंशियल एड्रेस ऑफ बजट सेशन 2024 एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जाम बी रेडी फॉर द डिक्टेशन यस रेडी स्टार्ट ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स आई एक्सटेंड माई हर्टियस्ट कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन एंड बेस्ट विशेज to all the newly elected members of the 18th lok sabha you all are here after winning the trust of voters of the country very few get this privilege to serve the nation and the people i am confident that you will fulfill your responsibilities in the spirit of nation first and will be a medium to fulfill the aspirations of 140 crores indians i wish sri om birla ji the very best for performing his exalted role as the speaker of the lok sabha he has vast experience in public life i am confident that he will be successful in taking democratic traditions to new heights with his skills i also express my gratitude to the election commission of india on behalf of crores of indians today this was the largest election in the world about 64 crore voters performed their duty with enthusiasm and zeal women cast their votes in huge numbers this time also a very heartening aspect of this election emerged from jammu and kashmir the kashmir valley broke all records of voters turnout of many decades in the last four decades we had witnessed low voter turnout amidst shutdowns and strikes in kashmir in means of india continued to spread false propaganda at global forums projecting it as an opinion of jammu and kashmir but this time the kashmir valley has given a befitting reply to every such element within the country and outside for the first time the home voting facility was made available in this lok sabha election i convey my appreciation for the work done by all the personnel associated with the lok sabha elections and also extend my congratulations to them honorable members the whole world is talking about the lok sabha elections 2024 the world is witnessing that the people of india have elected a stable government with clear majority consecutively for the third term this has happened after 6 decades at a time when the aspirations of people of india are at their height highest ever people have reposed faith in my government for the third consecutive term the people of india have full faith that only my government can fulfill their aspirations therefore this election of 
2024 has been an election of trust in policy intention dedication and decisions trust in a strong and decisive government trust in good governance stability and continuity trust in honesty and hard work trust in security and prosperity trust in government's guarantees and delivery and trust in india's resolve to be vikasit bharat it is a stamp of approval for my government's mission of service and good governance undertaken in the past 10 years it is a mandate that the work of making india a developed nation continues uninterrupted and india attains its goals honorable members the 18th lok sabha is historic in many ways this lok sabha has been constituted in the early years of amrit kal this lok sabha will also be witness to the 75th year of adoption of the constitution of india i am confident that this lok sabha will script a new chapter on decisions for public welfare my government will present its first budget in the fourth coming session this budget will be an effective document of the government's far reaching policies and futuristic vision along with major economic and social decisions many historic steps will also be seen in this budget the pace of reforms will be further accelerated in tune with the aspirations of people of india for rapid development my government believes that there should be healthy competition among the states to attract investors from all over the world this is the true spirit of competitive cooperative federalism we will continue to move ahead with the belief that the development of the country lies in the development of the states honorable members the resolve to reform perform and transform has made india the fastest growing economy in the world today in 10 years india has risen to become the fifth largest economy from being the 11th ranked economy from 2021 to 2024 india has grown at an average rate of 8% annually and this growth has not been achieved under usual circumstances in recent years we have seen the biggest pandemic in 100 years india has achieved this growth amidst the global pandemic and despite ongoing conflicts in different parts of the world this has been made possible due to reforms and major decisions undertaken in the national knee interest in the last 10 years today india alone is contributing 15% of the global growth now my government is striving to make india the third largest economy in the world achieving this goal will also strengthen the foundation of a developed india my government is giving equal importance to all 
द थ्री पिलर्स ऑफ द इकोनॉमी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सर्विसेज एंड एग्रीकल्चर थैंक यू